Yes, that sounds lovely. Then you can do it, Reverend. You can perform the mirrors this evening. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be there. I bet you never thought you'd ever seen me again, didn't you? What could possibly bring me here? Do you want to venture against? No. Maybe it's something I found out, Brooke. Something you've been trying to hide. Like what? Like the weight gain? What could possibly have caused it? Or should I say, who could have caused it? And what is it that you and he intend to do about it? Just what are you getting at? You really did think you were going to get away with this, didn't you? Goodbye, Stephanie. No, I'm not leaving, Brooke, until you and I come to an understanding. About what? About my husband. How long did you think that you'd get away with this? Well, obviously, till right after the marriage ceremony, isn't that right? Let me tell you something, Brooke. There isn't going to be any marriage ceremony. I would rather be dead. And I mean it. I would literally rather be dead than ever let you marry my there isn't the remotest possibility you're not going to have him as long as I can draw breath. So what are you going to do about it? What are you and your illegitimate child going to do about it? When was this supposed to happen? Tomorrow night? What are you talking about? The marriage ceremony. I'm assuming that you have pushed Eric into getting married right after the divorce is final, probably tomorrow night. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. What, are we going to stand here and parrot one another all day? I know the divorce hearing is tomorrow, Brooke. Yes, I'm aware of that, too. I tell you what, Brooke. Why don't you just go ahead and call Eric now? You tell him that I know everything. You forewarn him so that he isn't surprised when he walks into the courtroom tomorrow. I'm going to eliminate you from his life like you have tried to eliminate me. Stephanie, I didn't take Eric away from you and you know it. It was years of living with a manipulative, overbearing, conniving witch that caused him to want this divorce. This marriage was over long before I even met you. If that's really the truth, then why all of this secrecy? Why, Brooke? If you're really in love, why hide it in a closet? Why not bring it out in the open? Because you have enough hate and venom to cause so much trouble, we had to keep it a secret. <laughs> <laughs> but you know something? I'm glad it's out in the open. Because I'm sick of cowering, I am sick of being intimidated, and sick of stooping to your level. You disgust me, Stephanie. And you think I'm manipulative and conniving? I can't believe you... You got pregnant by my son, and within the same year, you're pregnant now by my husband, and you think I'm manipulative and conniving? Get out of my house! Oh, with pleasure, but you and I have a date, Brooke, in that courtroom tomorrow. You'd better be ready, because I certainly am going to be. You think it's tomorrow, Stephanie. Well, you're wrong. By tomorrow, I will be Mrs. Eric Forrester. <laughs> <laughs>